Oh, let me get uh, prepared. And there we go. Welcome back to Starfield. The game of more innuendo than anything by all the smiley people. I hope you've all been looking after yourselves and you're enjoying your gaming or whatever it is you do and your hobbies. Let us continue where we left off. Maybe you can get that to point us to the nearest restaurant. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, smart ass. What's that? Ancient runes. Research station. Radio Tower. Sarah Morgan. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hiya. Still looking very red, Sarah. Right. We're going to try and get in without. Oh, look at this. Water. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. We don't want to be eaten alive by them or anybody else. So this is where we're up to last time. What? I'm trying not to interfere with the wildlife, but you know what it's like. They might be hunting, I just don't want them hunting me. Let's just get these while we're at it. 83. That's where we're going, but I'm doing my best because I don't want to hurt any of them. And I believe um, the 30th we're going to have Shattered Space. Let me just see if I can see another one before we do this. Yeah, you're looking better into the light, Sarah. There we go, right. What was that? There's a few of them there, but not enough to take it on. Here we go. This is the ancient ruins. Find the Scorpio Sting. Well, that would be the Scorpio Sting, I think. Oh, here it is. Ooh, that looks pretty. Activate the glyph. I oh know, I'm a bit. Ah, duh. I'll move it up a bit. Uh, 
Oh, there we go, we found the Scorpio sting. Nothing happens when I'm there. It's like it's showing me a system. Nothing in here. Yeah, sometimes I need a walking hat. Come on, Sarah, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Anything over this one? Well, that was the Scorpio Sting. Let's just check what he says. Follow the directions of the scanner. Distortion is a quiet power. Is that we're on unity at the moment? Last star of the Scorpio constellation. There you go, you see. I knew by not looking exactly where I wasn't going. Um, I may have to move my camera. It can be. Of course I found you. Duh. Keeper Quill has sent me to find the true meaning of unity. Did. Now it's all starting to make sense. You should come aboard. There's another starborn here who is very interested in meeting you. I can speak for myself. Ooh. Constellation ship. You weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. You're one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Hmm. He's very cheeky. They have good reason to feel threatened. They were, he was trying to kill me too. All of us should feel threatened by each other. That comes with the territory. The question is whether you take the risk and talk to us, or you can run away and bask in the dark. No choice. Mm. Come on then, let's go and see who's on. He says the emissary, so is it that keeper or is it not? That's a new docking ring. Ship's locked on, docking complete. Alright, I better not shoot him just yet. Do you remember the 
emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, it is. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. Mm -hmm. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? Now nah, you kill one of ours. To warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You. Me. The emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity, and all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. Barrett, it can't be you. I saw you die. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who ran to the eye. I left you behind to protect the artifacts. And the hunter killed you. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Why are both of you? So the unit is where the artifacts are from, the temples. They are all connected. Trying to keep people from it. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. Ooh. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts Cheers. to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. Very true. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. 
I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. So I help one of you. We combine our artifacts into the unity. I'm going to help his only murder my friend. The war is going on between you two. What we're talking about. There's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse. One is right over there. Besides, why fight me again when you don't have to? I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. The moon of old earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. First moon in the salt system. Yes, I will say no more. And Half one to answers. Sure that they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, now, 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 now. Cockpit. On dock. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? So we found a multiverse of Barretts. So, uh... Let's get back on the inside. Let's go. I'll censure it. Let's get on out of there. Well, that was a nice twist. So Barretts... Is alive, but he's not really alive. But it's a lot better than a big pool on the floor. Ooh, where's the black screen taking us? Yeah, scan away. Well, I'm not going to New Atlantis, I don't think. I'll return to the lodge. Open map. The lodge. And less land. Ooh, look at that. No one knows that Terramorphs have spread throughout the settled system, but where they travel, death follows. Bit like some of them Starborn, really. So yeah, you'll see this on Wednesday, where Shattered Space Love dropped on Monday. You can go wherever you like. Oh yeah, you're looking better now, Sarah, a lot better. Discovery reports have come in while we were away. Hmm, yeah. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. What? 
It can't be. But it is. My colleague is alive in some alternate dimension? Am I hearing this right? Yeah. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards. And the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Bet you would. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need <coughs> to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. This is our mission to go into the unknown. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in. But we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Right, we've done that one. Hello. To think the lodge turned into a battlefield. Spending these moments close to you makes everything I've gone through worthwhile. If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. Oh, that's nice. Right. Thank you for helping me out with the artifacts. You're welcome. No. See to one of the artifacts I need to find it unearthed. Talk to all right, we need to talk to Vlad then. Where are you, Vlad? Oh there you go. What can we do for you, Vladimir? These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Catch a smile out there. No, no. I need to inventory all our. What we're going to do first, we're not going to do that one. We're going to do this. Luna. Let's go and see what was on the old moon. Right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Pardon? I think we should go. Let's stock and have a look at this. Feels very iffy this, so let's um Thermos. Boulder, anything in there? No. 
remember, you have to be nosy. Don't want the scissors. Pull up one of them caps. A free cap. No, some tissue. Up here, we need to look at. Now, remember, when you're doing this, you have to uh, examine everything you can. You will miss bits, of course, but that is the point. Oh, that doesn't look random, does it? Not at all. <laughs> Reminder infinite. No for galactic. Oxygen tank. Type of lock is this. So there's two which are close up. Do that one there. Righty ho. You definitely know your way around the dog. Wow. Sometimes <laughs> give me a second. I'll keep it there. It's good to know your way around things. Folders, keys, no folders, pen. Anything on the floor we need, Sarah? You check as well for me, lovely. That's it. Let's get some. I've got an idea. I might need some of these. Got just a bit of an inkling. Ooh, what's that one? I've got a coachman already, but. What we don't use, we can always sell. Seems a little bit weird, doesn't it? All this and then just left. Like, you know, set up, they found something out, or they've started something and never finished it off. I know I've got to follow the arrows, but I'm just being nosy. Look at the rubbish everywhere. Here, accent. I don't know anything on that. No. 
I just always have a bad feeling about secure accesses. Are you shooting? No. We can hear it, can't we? Where is that coming from? It's like this, what these people have had to go through on the station before. Ah. more of a single shot what are these guys after here that's the thing don't walk in front of me Sarah you know what I'm like since last incident number three latest password pass world two careful space is not for the if you feel sick please report to the medicine The seconds will sell a lot of it. I'm just looking for any bits and pieces here. Nicholas Nickelbait. Take us down in a minute, but let's just uh, check out what what's them art. No tablet. No. All right, Sarah. Let's continue. wave does a lot of the work don't want that red packet on these equinox any 
anything. Security helmet. Somebody just pissed her off. I don't know why we're doing that. Because that happens when you do. A little bottle. Credits. I don't need the helmet. Come on, you slap them, Sarah, while I'm doing the bits. Meal tray. Remember, if you ever need it, you can just sneak out and, um, what's that? Get on one of the beds for a little while. It'll actually boost your energy back. Light of the stars. So something was going on, definitely going on here. There shouldn't have been. Hold uh It looks very sus, this area. And there'll be things I miss, so uh, you guys might find something that I haven't seen. If so, just drop it in the comments and let me know. But run daily diagnostic. It looks very strange, this. Yeah, I'll follow it out. I just wanted to see where. Why is it locked? Expert level. Let's move that down a little bit, guys. Sorry about that, so I can see all the keys. Expert level. So that would go there, and that'd be a three. Which is... Not the one I was thinking of. Right, now this one. I see if we can get anything on there. So that mango there, which is three wide ones. A single one. Three wide ones. I don't think it's going to be the three wide ones. See, that goes there. Where does that go? It's a two and a one, so that goes there, right? And then we could have four there, 
which I thought we had a four before, but we have a three. We have a four, don't we? But that four's not. I'll go. No, that won't go there. That'll go in there. And that'll go there, so we'll ignore that one. And that one, so it's wrong, basically. Yeah. If that goes in there. So we need an Y3. Which is like that one. Alright, now this one. We haven't really got a three, have we? Oh, we got two. Right. And then... No. So it's going to be down here. That one. Probably all shouted away, you missed it, it's that one. No, I've got that one again. I'm just, I want to see what's inside, that's all. Right, what have we got? I can go in there. No, so that one definitely we use. And this is like the three, or oh, oh, that won't do it. All right. Now you've got to agree, that is in the right one. What about this? No. And it won't go there, so... I can't do that one either, because then... Oh, it gives us a two. So does that one then go... There. That isn't going on it. on it but then that is a not the right one so it's got to be a two and a three see that could go on that won't or will it no because for it to go in there means I've got a one and I haven't got a one So that could go there, and then, hmm, it's not giving me the right, I'm missing out something somewhere, alright, we'll leave it, it's going to annoy me, I'll have to come back and go in and see what they're doing, but, looks like, they got away from me now for this one I don't want to mess the rest of the time going in let's go see what we're supposed to be going to see to my crew position Yeah, 
Let's go and have a look at Luna. So there you go. That was a failed attempt. Did a couple of times. I don't want to spend all day doing it. So it's very messy, that. Very messy. For galactic research, yeah, that's going to see what's going on there. Hello, Lynn. Just getting off the ship. Where we're we going? Going here, so we don't really need the buggy. Collapse mine over research. Ooh, that looks gold. Why, why have I got a bad feeling about this? Station is easily over a hundred years old. Original Nova Galactic construction, oh. I guess. Built to stand the test of time. Mine be bought. What else is it testing? this got to do with the terramorphs? Hmm. Right. Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being contracted exclusively for use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can brute force, or whether you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation. But there will be time for that later. For now, I need everyone to concentrate on hitting our deadline. We're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. It should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. Project Prism launch. We're happy to announce first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I'd like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 900 EDT. Remember to please sync all watches to Eastern Daytime. Our partners will also be on radio for the launch. We'll be recording the event, so be on your best behaviour. Yes, we will go and have a look at that in a minute, but first. Seems if it, it's just been left. I wonder why this place was abandoned in such haste. Yeah, there's definitely some iffy going on here. Tissues, bless you. Junk's package. Oh, there was no chunk in that. Heel gel. Yogurt. <laughs> Safety protocols. You won't go out, but you know the old saying, you've got to look. You can't just go out, you've got to check everywhere. Which I'm going to miss some places because I don't want to drag you all through everything, but... An orange. 
mass produced beer, instant oatmeal, and a potato. That's a potato, potato. There'll be under that. That's a very small gimbal. I just have a bad feeling about this place. Plushy Galactica. Personal groomer. Oh, look. It's a weed whacker. <laughs> anyway, Apple Nutrition Restores to Health. A note. Okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there, I'm a scientist, deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. It's not a great opening line. <sighs> you seriously can't get a date? You're an astronaut. Hey, no one asked you. <laughs> There's no slate in here. No, I didn't think there were. That's why I almost missed it. And it, oh, slate. No. No. Looby dooby. No. Ooh, case. That's taking us back out, which I think we'll be going shortly. But there's something ain't right. Advanced. the other way around no <laughs> so I'm going to do that anyway just because I can right now and that's going to be more likely to be down here And that's a 3B, so... Maybe not that one, so it's there, there and there. And there. That, that. We can sell it. And it comes really. There, where are you? Well, well. Back for more, eh? Always. Me for pulling you aside again. But, well, there's 
so much to process right now. The Emissary, the Hunter, the Unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. Take a deep breath and talk to me. And stop wrapping your arms around it when I'm walking. I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the unity. The same, yet different. It's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. It's in time to live. Well, knowledge is what got us here in the first place. Yes, that's exactly right. Humans are clearly a victim of their own success. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the unity and become starborn. You say this is always a bad thing. Human nature is definitely a fault here. Isn't curiosity one of the tenets of constellation? It certainly is. Without curiosity, our motivation to explore would vanish. But in this case, there's a difference between exploring the cosmos and blindly oh. entering the unknown without being prepared for the consequences. I don't think it made a difference. He says it's always a bad thing. Human nature is definitely a fault here. Yes. And look what it's cost us. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the hunter and the emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the unity has done them more harm than good. I suspect this is a way of telling me I shouldn't enter the unity. If you're trying to make a point, just make it. We should learn more about Starborn before we pass judgment on them. Primary reason Starborn reveal themselves to us. Oh, absolutely. Their arrival in our universe is much too timely to be for any other reason. It's also clear that the need to collect these artifacts are an obsession for them, almost bordering on an addiction. That leads me to wonder what the unity has done to their minds. And their souls. Mm. No, no, that's not it at all. Oh, you won't get rid of me then? Oh. Whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? When someone who lives and breathes exploration, I don't know you pushed me this far, but now you're trying to talk me out of the final hurdle. You'd let those questions stop yourself from entering the unity. Of course not. I am and always will be an explorer. Exactly. My concern is how fundamental the change will be to ourselves as people. We don't even know if you'll remember anything about this conversation. Remember it all? Go to some video. Worried what that will mean between us. I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well. But that's not the point. I know. As the chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. Well, in that case... ...is that... ...well... ...you're the love of my life... ...and... ...I can't bear to lose you. You won't lose me. You might forget who I am. Uh. I do love you. That's why this decision is... ...tearing me apart. Listen... ...I realise nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or... Diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. Of course. 
I... I don't know if I'm ready to make that leap, but knowing we'd be doing it hand in hand would certainly make it more comforting. <clears throat> ah, well. I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. All right, anyway. I'm right, going to check because things things aren't right here. There's something definitely off. Play the recording on the roof optional. Anything up here for me? Anything up here besides this big bada boom? Master Unlock, he says. Look at that. Three things on that. Right. So we know it's not that one. I could do it. That could do that. And that'd be a three, which should be hmm, too close and a one. So we go back up to the one. Probably not going to do it. I just give it a go while I'm here. No, it's not going to go in that one. Or there. Or there. That will go nicely there. I hate this because it's going to get to the one I get into. It. <laughs> we do that one. It's going to be a three, I said, didn't I? try this yes I think I did should I have tried it on the other one that will go there and all that one so that goes on the inside that goes there as well it's very naughty Do that for the moment. Have I spat my chips out here? I think I have. Hmm. Just give me a second. Let's just do that. Try again. It's a biggie, so I want to try and get in it. All right. What have we got? We got two, three, four, five, three. So I could do that one, and then a two. Three. 
three, two. I'd say that was a two. But not that type of two, or even that type of two, which you think it would be. It's gonna be a flipper. And flipper. Right now. Let's see what we can take on these. So do that one, and then that would be another three. Not that type of three. More that type of three. Hang on. Not that type of three. That went there. What? Bloody typical. to B, it's not that one not yet anyway no 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 that on the outside and on this side it's not that either is it works there. Where would that work? Nowhere. So forget that one. Some of these are a lot harder than the first look. See that goes that way or that way no no mm. I could go in but it not so easy to just get the wrong ones in it and you're probably looking to go in but is that one but no it's not so i'll put this in but it makes no difference because i haven't got the one there there we go try once more one last time i think we've got it in so that would go in there let me just look now do it the other way i used to do it Look inside. No. So it wouldn't go there. And it wouldn't go there. So that's a bit on this one. No. So yeah, so that would even go in there. Let's go in the top here. God. 
that goes in there. That can go in one or two. So that one's in there. Right. What I was looking at before is That will go in the middle one. No. No. Yeah. We've got that one. Now this one. Won't go in any of them. I go in there, so would that go in? That would do, I think. Now, one down. I keep doing that. Oh my god. Analgesics. Yes. All of them. Yes. Yes. Sturdy Star Roma helmet. And that. Where did you learn to pick them? You know, well, second thought. Don't ask. About 17 hours of playing with that, I think, caused it. No pads, folders. Moon slate six. The assignment up here. We were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh... Got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll... Uh, I won't be able to go to the funeral. Oh. Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. Oh. So we've got a med kit. Anything else in here that I can... Uh... Ah, another pad down there. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire is being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. Mm -hmm. So we done that one. Shielded lab suit. 
Spell book. Credits. Ah, another one. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. Okay. A little bit strange. Hmm. So we need to go up on the roof. Yeah, I know it's up there. Just want to uh, check out round here first. And what we are going to do is eat a little bit. New items. What? Look at that. I look cool. Look at that poncho. Yeah, man. Healing gel, mine. So I got one, three, four, six. So I haven't got five and two. There's got to be something less valuable you can drop. I know that valuable. A sandwich. We just ooh. I'm just getting me health up, so I may as well get rid of some of these. Speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> I'll 
as a field to break the laws of physics, Canaveral. We're all pretty excited down here at NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years. Hmm. I could go to NASA, but collect all this slates. So how many more slates have we got? Right, let's go see if we can send any more slates. <clears throat> I wonder if that's where the starborn ship came from. You know what we're looking for, guys? A little slate. <laughs> so if you see one, drop it in the comments because I might not have found it. A storage box. I found that one. Oh, no, that's a display. I found that. Zero wire. Let's look while we're down here first. Could be anywhere. Oh, nowhere. Or oh, just in plain. Excuse me. Could be in plain sight. We just can't see it. Restricted equipment key. Well, I thought I'd take that key. Anything over here? Is that a slate too? Is it number five? We've got two NASA access codes. Notes should be in there. That's what we just got. One, two, three, four. We haven't got five. collected all the data 
done that one. There was a door over here somewhere. What is that? Go to NASA. Yeah, I know we're going to NASA in a second, don't worry. I think they'd be a bit surprised to see us. Yeah, we've done that, we've done that. Must have undone the door then. Because it was a restricted one, weren't they? Restricted. I don't think it was out of this because this is taking us outside. Our ship. Yeah, okay. Have I got that? I got that. Yeah, done that room. Just on a quick go around because I said I'm sure there's one mess somewhere. Unless I got it from a different angle. I must have got it from a different angle. Alright, okay. It said secret room, so... Let's have a look what was over the uh, on the map across from the ship. Loosenogens here. In fact, I think it isn't what I thought on these terraforming. I think it's um, could be this, some of the starborn ships. Mm. Captain? Yes, let's take off.
Yep, let's set cult for Earth. That's a launch centre. Watch out for Terramorphs coming down here. Mm, the black screen of nothingness. Explored features, sand and crap from the ship. Okay, get ready for a ride of your life, Sarah. This is me on the rover. You've seen how crappy I'm driving this. Yep, I must climb with everything and way. Unless I'm mistaken, that's one of the launch towers used during the evacuation of the Earth. I can't even imagine okay. something you shot above us then. Likely way into the NASA facility would be via an elevator. Hang on. Hang on. You seen that? A starborn. Right. That looked like we're going up there. Starborn is followed us then. Crystal's crater. Hmm. You never even noticed Starborn were there, did you? Right. in here yeah we don't need the folder that's a notebook manifold hmm Something definitely iffy about this, guys. <laughs> Up there. Oops.
Well, can I? Maybe not. There's got to be another set of stairs or something. Is it? Ah, up there. Ah, no, that's not the way up. It's got to be another way, but. No. Oh, here we go. Let's walk in then instead. Got in here. It's giving me a lot of health packs. I'm expecting something to be jumped or something. There's something Sarah they're not telling us about up here. No. Mm, yeah, we were down there before. is a weird way of getting up to it isn't it and we're going over there
That would have really gone down bad if I'd have fallen after all that climbing. What? Foundation too tall? I'm not building. Power required. And I've got, I think, one of the power packs. What that? My propellant, that looks different. I've got power packs here as well. Hang on. Come on, Sarah, in you come. Come on in. Don't be scared. It's only a lift. Take us to the palace. Palace of forgetfulness. Yeah, I bet this is where the starborn ships were originally. From. Because if you look, everything just seems to be... And a starborn landed, although that could have been him that give us... That could have been the Barrett that give us the information. This looks like it was some type of crew preparation area. Probably the last step before boarding. Hmm. Definitely seen better days. It looks like somebody uh, bombarded it a little bit. Okay, resume last user session. Hang on. Launch procedures. Launch procedures. Remember the final vitals and suit seal checks are essential. Yes, we've come a long way as far as tolerances. Yes, the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be. But these people's lives are still in our hands. I know there's a rumour that the next launch is slated to be cancelled, but let's not take that... But let's not have that be on us. Assume it's go time every time. Your professionalism is what makes space travel just a bit safer. And we can use every ounce we can get. All right. Error archives damage running, system recovery, partial archives retrieved. Delivery from Mars. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. Dr. And today's meeting? Dr. Judith Tatian, I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I, I don't know how much I should say. 
periodic table just got thrown out the window. Hmm. Gonna have to go down to it. Look at all this structural damage. We need to be careful around here. I scan for everything as we go through. Rockets. Rocket Park. That's a... What? I thought it was another ship then. Oh my goodness. Some of the artifacts here are from the earliest years of NASA. Oh, what a shame. All of this was left behind to deteriorate. Yep. Base flight power plates, empty containers. Let's just take that off for a second so you can see. Derailed for the Apollo mission to reach Earth's moon, the F 1 engine was a single nozzle liquid fueled rocket engine that could generate over 6 million newtons of thrust each. Five of these would be used in the Saturn V super heavy lifting launch vessel. The power of the F-1 was critical in providing the necessity lift to launch rockets from the surface of Earth towards the stars. I like that, they've actually put information on it as well. Yes, we are going over there. I just... Oh, look. So, basically, you've got all the little bits and pieces from the different um, missions. Is that going round to it, or is that going round to it? That's probably going round to it. Hmm. Leaving Earth forever. In 2150, scientists first predicted the destruction of our beloved Earth. Atmospheric phenomena will cause breathable air to splutter outside of Earth's gravity, dimming all life that remained. Estimated 50 years until the end, it's given NASA and other space agencies around the world the opportunity to migrate humanity away from a certain death and into the stars. Thanks in part to the development of the grav drive, humanity will live on. Going over there. But let's just have a look at that. Wow. When we're coming down, several run all the way around. Oh, you magic that one, didn't you? Deep mining recon pack. Rovers. So it has all little uh, little tight tidbits and that on. Hello. Come on, this way. And look, that's the thing that's supposed to have took us to the moon. From the Apollo 11 mission, the lunar Earth Eagle was the first crewed spacecraft to touch down on Earth's moon. Eagle's counterpart was a command module, Columbia. Which the lunar module needed to both separate from and eventually reattach to, Columbia would take astronauts to and from orbit to the moon, while Eagle would bring them to and from the surface. 
looks like foil, doesn't it? Hmm. Questions? No? Okay. That's a different one. Anyway. There's something over there as well. samples Wire and toilet roll. Empty toilet roll, or else I would have had it. Don't believe what anybody says. You always need toilet roll. Hmm. Yes, it's very devious, isn't it? So very twisted. Hmm. not the surrounding rock appears to have sealed the fate of this part of the facility there's not much left but there's probably enough to do what we needed to do that's not working is it now what about this research lab something I haven't got that yeah I've got a lot of research to do hmm they definitely were up to something shady I'm telling you and we'll find a what go on a way in or way out A lot of 
this is blocked off with access so there's got to be another way I don't think we can get in this way Typical. So that one there. very crafty because it could so that is more for the inside so, so forget that one now this one could go there which should be three do that one and it's still that one isn't there all right so that was there i can't so that one one two three excuse me because I'm just trying to work it out slowly in my mind we do that just because we can I don't just have a one you see so that has to be a four which I don't have to do that no Let's try again, because I need to get into here. They do stick stuff up to confuse you. Alright. We know it isn't that one, we know it's not that one, we know it isn't that one, so you can be that one. I could go there. 
Let's we'll cook all that. Alright. In case you're wondering how could we click down that fast, it's because I have three auto slots ready. This isn't for this one either, that's for the inside. That can go in. That can go in. This can go in, it says so. And now... That's going to be like that. And then it's one, two, four... That went in there. So it's on to mm. mm. All right, so basically will this go anywhere else is that it'll do that one as well that so I could go there. There's so many of them that go in the same place, as you can see. So it'd rather go in there or there. But that can go so. And it's down to this one. Four, that's four, that's four, that's four. So I've got two, four, five. <sighs> we'll work on it in a minute. I don't believe it after looking at it all that time. That was locked. It was. It was straight in front of my eyes and I couldn't see it. But hey, that's just the way it is. to know about them too much typical did all that and then it's not the one I needed to get in Seems to go in the right way. Information about the proto graph drive. Sarah, I'm going to give you a load of crap. I have. Right, I've got loads of stuff and you want it all. My inventory. Weapons. Ah, uh, give me 
give you them. And that. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Give you that. And sell all of these, don't worry. For now. I'm gonna find out what's on this about this drive. folder well so we better pick up that uh, other wherever it was there it is let's just go into inventory a second empty that out yeah this is a long one guys sorry about that but you know what it's like when there's so much in it. Emergency kit, fiber, folder. Let's keep that open. Let's keep going. There's something very suspicious. Why would they keep it hidden? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sarah. They really don't want us to find something in here, didn't they?
need to see if we can turn these off. Because I've got a feeling it'll be coming after us when we come back up. Yeah, it showed me to turn blue, you see, when you get into one. Right. So, what have we got that will fit this sensor one? So, that's in there. Try down there for this. So we have to go into a lot of these to uh, turn these on. Right. Why? Why Delilah? No, because that'll do it. And that'll do that topping. Then we'd use these to get three, and that one to do the two. No signal. It's even worse. We could have run in that bottom without any problem. Something's gonna fall and we're gonna be on it. Come on, Sarah. down into the depths here. Quite an impressive facility. The logistics it must have taken to build it this deep underground. It's astonishing. Oh yes. So yes, uh, this looks like the Starfield ones are going to be quite long. So... I hope we enjoy looking at the long ones. All the way down for this. Security procedures. Check all badges before allowing access. Yes, even the generals. I don't care how angry they get. They are direct orders from the secretary. Absolutely no phones, recording devices, or written materials, clipboards, and notebooks are to be checked on exit from the labs. Confiscate anything with confident, uh, confidential information on it. Error. Archive. Damage running system recovery. Partial archive retrieved. Project log. Dr. Victor Isa. We 
returned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us. It's all going to be possible. Wow. Project lock. Dr. Judith Petzian. I watched the Gravjet test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives. Expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming. And worrying. It could take years. Decades before we know what all these side effects of operating a grav drive can be. But no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. Whoa. So it is about the grab drive. Yeah, so we gotta go down there. Shall we? What's in here then? If there's a way to access what? Oh, that goes there, and there's a two for. So, no, it won't really be worth doing that. I'll go there. Would be one, two, three. So that would do there. So it's just a middle one. Hmm. of course oh and a safe another one we know that do going there or over there so now you're seeing the art of lock picking so we got that one which then brings these things Let's use that one because we can. There we go. Well, it's not what I was expecting, but yeah. to do that we're going to we're 
would be to go down. Whoa. That seems a bit weird. The grab who's this? Please be careful whenever running power through the prototype. Secure all loose objects and research empty pockets and remove jewellery and watches. Reminder that the core of the drive contains a specimen that is irreplaceable and all data is under the strictest confidence. Exercise all caution with all research materials and ensure information does not leave this lab. Right, here we go again. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the graph drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I want to be sure. It's, it's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Hmm. You know, something is not telling. It's Judith Tetien, Victor Luce, Lansu. As requested, the astrophysics research team has done a full analysis of the data you provided us. The measurements of the Earth magnetosphere show clear signs of fluctuation, often in correlation to the periods of frequent and large gravity wave spikes emulating from the Moon. These gravity waves seem to be affecting the magnetic shield provided by the Earth's inner core and may be affecting the core itself given the proximity of the source. The data indicates the change rate is increasing exponentially. As our magnetosphere filters, magnetosphere, the ability to protect us from the sun's solar winds falter beyond the devastating effects of solar radiation. This will lead to something more dire, the spluttering, a stripping away way of our atmosphere. This has happened before to Mars, a planet studied since the earliest days of space. To see the Earth's possible future, we are afraid this future may be closer than we ever thought imaginable. Some may view this data as normal. There have been historical fluctuations and polarity changes of Earth's core, but this is orders of magnitude greater. We see echoes of previous generations debating over global warming. And we want a science here to be clear. Light waves in the ocean, these gravity waves rise and eventually crash into shores of the Earth with devastating cons consequences. Dr. Luke Andrews, arc scientist. I know what I'm seeing, Victor. The data coming back from these satellites is very clear. It's the graph drives. All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start sputtering out into space. Can the drives be fixed? I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God, one that science has found a solution for. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, didn't you? You lied to me. I... All this time, I dedicated my life to this discovery, Victor. And you knew we were going to kill off our planet? You haven't seen the future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could hit Earth. A plague, another world war. C 
colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home! Stop it, both of you! All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. I'm sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. We are never speaking again after this is over. Ooh. On September the 8th. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive, this artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Oh, well, you got to admit, it's a decent story on it. Oh my God, grav drives destroyed Earth, and at the core of the first drive, an artifact. Yeah. Well, we need to try and get to it. How do I get into it? There's got to be another door down. There was another door down. Is this all that? Whoopsie. Yeah, say, do have a use. But, did he give us this? Did he give us this to try and um, get at it? Because he couldn't get at it. Where was that light coming from? Ooh, into the grab drive. What's in here then? No, 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 just a maintenance key in a lab uniform. Hmm. Anything in there? I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. We're running for me, Sarah. I mean, you know. 
I know you're getting all excited, like, but... We need to, uh... And here we go. So if I go on Stray Avengers, Explorers Grendel, we'll see what that's like. Where was that power cell? There it is. Was there something in that? Sorry, Sarah. Here, of course. And there was one there, so we'll take it.
Let's get a few bits while we're at it. Whoops. Hang on. Another maintenance key. It should help us. Show me here. quite a few of them and my friends that's where we're going to leave it we'll continue and try and save the day next time for the moment hope you enjoyed watching if you did please uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment uh, look after yourselves and i'll see you next time